an uncommon scene synonymous with the movie script. At first glance, these computers and other information communication technology ICT equipment would also easily pass as devices on sale. But these 93 desktop computers, 42 new boxed computers, one laptop, a satellite gadget, and other ICT equipment including firearms and two vehicles are exhibits of a sophisticated crime syndicate busted by the Drug Enforcement Commission DEC in the affluent Roma area in Lusaka. Over 70 people have been nabbed in the sting operation, which also involved other law enforcement agencies under the Interagency Framework Agreement involving the Zambia Police Service, Department of Immigration and the anti-terrorism organizations. This equipment was being used to defraud unsuspecting victims both in Zambia and beyond borders. This operation was conducted following thorough investigation operations and reviewed the presence of uh, among other things, SIM boxing machines used for fraudulent activities, along with about 13,000 SIM cards, both domestic and international. Counting of these symptoms, I must emphasize, ladies and gentlemen, is still ongoing. As you can see, they are quite a, a heap, but approximately there. What we have counted so far is uh, 1,742 Vodafone SIM cards, 7,778 MTN SIM cards, 4,016 Airtel SIM cards, including 11 SIM boxes. Gordon Top Support Services, the organization at the center of this international crime, allegedly lured and suspecting Zambian youths as call center agents. The organization behind the scheme employed young Zambian individuals, mostly school leavers, under the guise of call center agents. These individuals engaged in deceptive conversations with unsuspecting mobile users across platforms like WhatsApp, Telegram, and chat rooms. The operation scope extended beyond Zambia with evidence of communication with individuals in countries such as Singapore, Peru, and the United Arab Emirates. The deck has cautioned would-be offenders. I want to assure the people of Zambia that we are out to get these criminals and we are working in collaboration with all the experts in Zambia. What is important to note again is that uh, we shall not at all relent and there will be no sacred cows. We have some other areas we are chasing right now involving some Zambians. In 2024 so far, the DEC has seized six properties worth about 100 million kwacha and recovered a cash amount of 836,000 kwacha. Rosemary Kamanga, ZNBC News in Lusaka.